Welcome everyone back to RimWorld. So in between episodes, I let a little bit of time take by, just kind of doing some general base work, added an extra layer of Caltrops, I started building the brewery, as you can see we only have like three barrels, but I came back because for one there are quite a few things happened here, like we had a zombie attack, that's why there's this massive swarm of zombies over here, which is um, slightly concerning. Because uh, we can't deal with this with just one guy. So um, <laughs> we should probably start panicking about this at some point. But I'm going to ignore it for now. Anyway, let's get into what I want to do today. So I would like to get into armor crafting and probably building a prison to recruit people. But first, let's build ourselves a drug lab. Uh, where would that be? Drugs lab. I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. And by drugs lab, I mean brewery. So the brewery is in the culinary tab, which, to be honest, does make a little bit of sense. And I'll just put it in here for now because it doesn't really matter. And start working on that. Well, apparently the Empire didn't get the message that you're not supposed to have high-tech weapons. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it looks like they're fighting the big group of zombies over here, so I don't really care. But, um, these guys aren't supposed to have these weapons. Oh, wow. Are we about to see a horde fight? I mean, it's not really- Oh! The tribute collector might actually get down here. Or, they might turn into a zombie. Which means we would get all our stuff, which would be pretty cool. Um, alright, thank you, the umpire, who's not supposed to have rail guns and such. Look at that! This body is infected with the zombie virus. It looks like the, <laughs> the, the royal tribute collector will be turning into a zombie in 15 hours. That's something you don't want to see. A white dragon is attacking after being harmed. Um... <laughs> um... Oh no. Uh... Okay, let's, let's check it out. White dragons are a mysterious species native to the coldest of climates and extremely territorial. They try to ward off all who attempt to observe them. Um... I don't think we can even hurt this thing. What, what's its armor looking like? Oh, 90% sharp. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not good. Maybe we can kill it with caltrops. Look what it did. It breathed fire and now... Oh, wow. That sucks. And it just bombed this zombie over here. Um, caltrops, can you kill a dragon? Or may No, maybe we'll just wait outside. Good job. Yeah, you, you just stay out there, please. As it turns out, um, dragons aren't stopped by caltrops. Um, Nathart, hide. Hide. Uh, don't leave your house. Or at least your temporary house. Don't, don't leave there for like a few days. Um, otherwise you're probably gonna get destroyed. Um, yeah. A wood- Really? Really? Thankfully, it's raining, but it's breathing fire on the zombies and just trying to burn down everything. Wow. Okay, thank you, Mr. Dragon. Well, I thought we were in the clear, but, um, another zombie attacked the dragon, and now the dragon is upset again. Um, Nathar, just hide inside again. Um, <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna be stuck inside for another few days. We have a raid from the Sinner's lineup. I'm not too worried about this because even if they do get close to us, Mr. Dragon Boy will deal with them. As you can see, I think it's actually moving down to go deal with them as we speak. Um, yeah, not a good way to go, getting eaten by a dragon. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see how they do here. And goodbye, Vagon. Yeah. You're lucky it's raining or else you would have just been melted there. Oh, yep, there we go. He is dead. Very much dead. So after waiting for a few days, or not even a few days, probably like about a day, um, the white dragon has wandered off the map, and that means we can yoink Vagan's gear. Um, assuming we can get down there fast enough. He has two hours till he bleeds out. Oh, uh, come on, Nathar. I don't think Nathar's gonna make it. Oh, he might. Oh, I think he just barely will, thankfully. Which means we have a full set of gear now from doing pretty much nothing. I mean, the dragon did kind of deal with him for us. And there we go. We just had a wanderer join. And unfortunately for this wanderer, they're pretty garbage. Um, 
Yeah, they're pretty bad. Their only good trait is in social and medical. I mean, I guess they do have four mining with a double passion, but their traits are pretty horrible. And they're incapable of violent. So unfortunately for them, um, we're gonna take their clothes and they can go get eaten by zombies. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've been making a bit of progress in the background here. I've started working on a storage room as you can see here. And we've been brewing quite a bit of beer. If we look in our beer storage and we go select all similar on map, we have about 200 beer and it's pr I'm pretty sure it's valued pretty highly actually. Um, let's see, market value, 12 per. So you guys can do the math, but that's quite a bit of silver if we can get it sold off to a trader. So hopefully one comes by soon. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of leaves on the ground. Um, but yeah, not much has really happened. We've just kind of been sitting around, doing a bit of research, working on our storage room. And, um, the zombie horde has just kept growing. We have a quest here from the Empire. It is a very, very buggy quest. Error shelter for lodger in def. Error lodger zero underscore name def. Um, <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what this does, but I'm looking at this Scorch Elf Lord. He seems pretty decent. He's got three melee. He's, you know, his, his skills aren't the greatest, but he is physically adept. He does have a weak constitution, which isn't great. But he's also sanguine. He's got 12 social, 11 plants, and 4 cooking. So we can take most of that away from Nathar. So I think we will accept it for him. Um, oh, we have to protect Tiberios. Okay. That makes a little bit of sense. Um, okay, you know what? Y you'll be fine. All you gotta do is work. Can you work? I'm not sure. We have a raid from the Kamsa Union, a group of fungies. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Shroom worm. Worm a giant. Those are fun, I guess. Um, all right, Nathar, you might want to get to the embrasures. As you can see, they are beginning their assault. They're over here with Aban Quiro. It looks like they will hit Zandro on their way in. I'm trying to intercept them with Nathar, and it looks like we are just barely going to be in range. Okay, you can't miss your shots here, Nathar. Um, oh no. Alright, it looks like we... Did we kill one? No, we hit one, okay. Um, that's not terrible, I guess. Um, oh wow, this is not good. It looks like they're fighting the zombies, so that is good. Alright, you hit another mushroom worm. Very cool. He hit one of the worm- The wor- Oh! A mortal worm -a giant Kill that thing! Okay, we actually need to kill this thing and behead it. Because that might just be able to push Nathar into the levels of being a true immortal. Which would be very helpful. Alright. It's got 12 hours. 8 hours. Alright, where is Tiberios? Alright, Tiberios is down there. He can keep doing that. Come on. Alright, he's out of range now. Focus this blue one then. Alright. Hit it once. He'll be able to hit it twice probably. There we go. Maybe three times? Nope. Not quite. Thankfully we do have the Caltrops here. Which do defend us. Alright. Try and take out that Immortal one. I'm actually going to just focus the Immortal one. Because the Immortal one is would be really helpful to take down. Fire. Um, That's illegal. The Mushroom people are using fire. Um... What the? What are they using? Wait, what is that thing? What are they doing? <laughs> what was that? It looks like we killed the immortal guy, but they're like shooting something at us. Uh, what is this thing? Worm thrower. Oh, uh, that that sounds fun. Um, oh, uh, what are those things? What? <laughs> they're throwing worms at us. That's, that's a weird sentence. Alright, Nathar just beheaded the worm giant, and unfortunately he still is a lesser immortal, but that means he's probably very close to becoming a full immortal. That's not a good sign. What happened to the UI? Oh no. <laughs> um. Oh no. Uh. Reload time. Let's reload. Well, I think I found the problem. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow. Okay. 
Let's clear this. Oh my. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> the worm. The worm gun broke the game. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's reload to before that raid. And if I see any more of those worm guns, we're gonna have to despawn them. Because, um, yeah, that's, uh, pretty game-breaking. So somehow, the mushroom gun managed to completely break all of my saves. Um, that's... <laughs> I can't even leave it. Oh, no. Um, okay, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, please, go away. There we go. Um, well, I'll try my last, last save. Um, all the way back in the 14th of April, May. Let's see if it even loads. I don't think it will because of my last few saves. I've tried all of them. The UI is completely gone, and it all starts off with the same error. Um, I think it somehow managed to time travel and crash all of my saves, which is very sad. Oh, it looks like I found a good save. Okay, so this is way, this is like really far behind. Oh, wow. Um. Oh, wow. Like, this is really, really far back. Like, we haven't even gotten Tiberius yet. Um. This is fine, I guess. I mean, I don't really get a choice, do I? So, um, I guess I'll just play up to back where we were. So, I haven't caught up to our previous save quite yet, but we just got really lucky with a... What the hell? <laughs> Um, oh, it's another albino zombie. That's what it is. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna need to deal with that pretty quickly. What is it doing? What? It, it just have the HP of that crossbow. Okay, let, let's go deal with this thing. It, anyway, the cargo pods dropped a repeater crossbow. Um, let's see what it does. Oh, it does that. That's pretty cool, actually. We had a space battle come by, and there's actually two people knocked out here. Cindy, who has six hours, she's got 12 construction, eight cooking, and five crafting. Depressive and beautiful, so not the greatest traits, but she is really, really good. So we're going to try and recruit her, and I don't think any health issues other than, you know, uh, <laughs> getting gunshot and such. The oh, wait, and then, yeah, this guy. This biscuit guy is immortal. He's not very good. Well, he is pr actually, he's pretty okay. Um, but I'd rather absorb his immortality because that's probably more helpful. On our way over, Biscuit got up, so we're gonna have to take care of Biscuit. Unfortunately for him, that means getting shot by a repeating crossbow. Um, alright, go down, please. Go down. Alright, there we go, he's now dead. And let's behead him. Let's see, we might actually be leveling up... Uh, uh, really? Really?! Uh, why game all right so we managed to get nathar finished with his mental state because he collapsed of exhaustion um which was actually quite lucky because that instantly breaks him out of his mental state pigging out as you can see i trapped mr biscuit in a oh i thought these were wooden walls i trapped him in a thing of wooden embrasures because there was a thrombo revenge so we're currently trapped inside of our base and with a stroke of luck, Cindy joined us as soon as she got up, which is really lucky, as she is really good at construction, cooking, and crafting. So, I'm gonna get her to work immediately. I'm sending Nathar to go execute Biscuit, and as you can see, he got back up again. Thankfully, he is currently trapped, and there's not much he can do about it, so um, we can kind of leisurely make our way down there. Alright, and we can, <laughs> we can actually shoot him to death from outside the embrasures. Wow, uh, if he can hit a shot. I think he might actually destroy the embrasure. Oh, we just got some pigs joining us. I guess that's helpful. Okay, seriously? K kill him, please? It's it's not hard? Oh my gosh, really? Kill him! Kill this man! Okay, see, he actually broke the embrasure before he killed Biscuit. Wow. Alright, there we go. He's now dead again. So let's behead him and steal his immortality. Prioritize beheading. Boom! As you can see, he gained levels in melee and animals. 
and he's still a lesser immortal. Wonderful. But I think we will just about wrap up here. Before we leave off though, I would like to ask you guys for name recommendations, as I do take them every series, so leave them in the suggestions down below. But as for progress today, mainly it's been in kind of exploring a few of the game's features, but in terms of building progress, we've managed to get a working refinery for beer, and we actually built quite a stockpile of beer, um, over almost 100, actually almost 200 of it, as you can see, 180 right there. We are working on a storeroom right now, and for the most part, it works. So, we also got Cindy, but, you know, Cindy, Cindy. But with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.